N8N versus Make versus Zapier. Which automation tool is the right for you? Welcome to this in-depth comparison of three powerful automation tools, N8N, Make, formerly known as Intergourment, and Zapier. Whether you're a business owner, developer, or productivity enthusiast, automating workflows can save you time and boost efficiency. In this video, we'll break down key features, usability, pricing, and unique benefits to each problem to help you decide which one is the best fit for your need. Before we head over to our tutorial, all of the mentioned tools will be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Now, let's start with a quick overview of all of the platforms right here. First things first, N8N. It's an open source automation tool designed for developers and tech savvy users. It offers flexibility, extensive customization options, and can be self-hosted for maximum control. Now for Make.com or Intergourment, it is known for its visual interface. Make allow users to create complex workflow with ease. It's great for both technical and non-technical users, offering a wide range of integrations. And lastly, Zapier. It is the most popular automation tool for beginners. It focuses on simplicity and top speed, allowing users to create zaps that connect apps without coding. Now that you know all of the applications overview, let's now navigate through the user interface and ease of use. Now, first, let's talk about N8N. It features a node-based drag-and-drop interface. It's powerful but has a steeper learning curve. It's ideal for those familiar with APIs and coding concepts. Now for Make.com, it offers a clean visual interface with canvas and drag-and-drop. Its modular design keeps it easy to visualize complex workflows appealing to both beginners and advanced users. And lastly, Zapier. Zapier is extremely user-friendly with a straightforward step-by-step -step process or process setup, perfect for non-technical users looking to automate simple tasks quickly. And now let's talk about their features and capabilities. For N8N, it supports over 400 integrations and allow custom APIs, calls, conditional logic, and advanced data manipulation. The open source nature means you can modify it to fit specific requirements. Now, for Make.com, it provides robust features like advanced scheduling, error handling, and built-in functions for data transformation. It's great for multi-step workflows. And lastly, we have Zapier. Zapier offers over 3,000 app integration. While it handles basic automation well, it lacks the depth of customization and complex logic that InitN and Make provide. Now, let's navigate through our fourth category which is pricing structure. Now for InitN, InitN is free itself for the self-hosted. Cloud plans are available with tiered pricing based on usage. So from here, we have the overview of pricing of N8N. You can just navigate through n8n.io slash pricing. Now for make.com, make offers a free plan as well with limited operations and affordable paid plans that scales with the usage. As you can see, we have $0, $9, $16, and lastly, $29. Now for our last tool, it's going to be Zapier. Zapier is free plan with basic features. For the paid plan, it can get expensive as you scale, especially for the multi-step zaps. Now this is the outline or the overview for the Zapier pricing. You can just navigate through zapier.com slash pricing to view all of the features that each plan has. Now let's navigate to the most crucial part which is performance and reliability. Now first things first, N8N. The performance depends on your hosting environment. Self-hosting gives you control over speed and uptime. Now for Make.com, Make is reliable with robust error handling. It's cloud-based, so performance depends on their servers. Lastly, we have Zapier. It has high uptime and reliable performance, but 
complex automations can become slow and costly. And now let's navigate through performance and reliability. Now Zapier is known for its reliability and quick support response. For Make, Make provides strong performance with detailed error handling and scenario testing. And lastly, N8N. While powerful, it depends on the hosting environment, impacting performance based on the server capabilities. So you have no full control over Zapier for uptime or reliability. Navigating through the next category, which is security and compliance. Now, basically Zapier and Make offer enterprise-grade security with GVPR compliance. For NITN, it provides strong security features, especially for self-hosted setups, giving users, once again, full control over data privacy. So if you want full control over your automation tool, I suggest heading over to N8N.io. And now for customer support, Zapier has extensive documentations, tutorials, and a large user community. Once again, it's the most popular of all of these platforms. Now for Make.com, it offers comprehensive guides and a responsive support or chat system. And lastly, N8N boasts an active open source community with continuous updates and community-driven resources. And now for our last category, it's going to be scalability. Now, Zapier scales well with your business growth, but can become expensive with high task volumes. Now for Make, Make offers scalable plans with cost-effective options. And lastly, N8N. N8N is highly scalable in self-hosted environments. It's limited only by the server resource. And so, for conclusion, choosing between N8N, Make, and Zapier depends on your needs. Basically, for beginners, I suggest heading over to Zapier because it's simple. Now, Make offers a balance of visual appeal and functionality. It's ideal for medium to advanced users. And now, for our best Automation tool, in my opinion, it's going to be N8N. It's perfect for tech enthusiasts seeking deep customization and cost efficiency. Now, you want to evaluate your requirements, budgets, and technical skills to make the best choice for your automation journey. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts or questions. Now, thank you for watching. And as always, thank you.